Wow, this is the biggest news on the internet today. Apostle Arome Osai reconciles with his son, Apostle Michael Oropo. I'm going to show you a video right now. This is the biggest news on the internet. And this was facilitated by the spiritual son of Apostle Arome, Dr. John Abami, who has this to say. It's a massive victory for the body of Christ as Apostle Arome Osai reconciles and prayed for Apostle Oropo Michael. Glory be to God. And this happened at Zaria, Nigeria, speculatively on Monday. Wow, glory be to God. This is 1-0 to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The devil is silenced forever and ever. There's no man like my father in the Lord. No man. No man. No man. No man. I've seen Christians. I've seen people. No man. No man. No man. Oh. I remember when I went to meet him in Lagos. I flew in and I came to his house. I said, do you have any program? He said, no. It's you I came to see. He touched me. He accessed heaven. He said, yes. you have a friend that needs to leave you. I, I knew the person was talking about. The moment he mentioned him, his friend has to leave you. The moment he leaves you, the Lord will give you double lane. You ride on double lane. True. I obeyed. And the anointing of my life changed. He said, it is not time. Meanwhile, I had the money and influence to manipulate that. But I knew it was not time. So I withdrew into my chair. I gave it six additional years. Yes. And after six years, the application I wrote to the embassy for I made so many mistakes so I wasn't expecting the visa to come because the one I was perfect about they didn't have a cogent reason but they didn't give me that's the one I got that's the one that came out the reason was because it was time that was the wake of COVID-19 2020 I had four days window to visit London then people had not started wearing masks. I was the only one that wore masks in the flight that we took. Because my mother is a nurse. Four days in London. Four days that will always be remembered. Because it was time. I stopped at that point deliberately. Because when the time comes, nothing can stop your light. When the time comes, nothing can stop your destiny. And for many of you, the time has come. Yeah. Oh, people tried to, people, people responded badly to you. Even pastors manipulated. You saw all of that. But you were not discouraged. It was God you were following. And it was a test to see whether men were your God or God was your God. When the time comes, nothing can hold you. Nothing can stop you. That, those four days I preached in London was the reason why Europe opened to me. Do not show yourself before the time comes. Can we pray as a congregation? I realize that it's not where you are trained that God manifests you. Your rugged training might be here in Makoti. But your manifestation might be in Bayesa. Some of you ladies listening to me today, marriage might take you to New York. Some of you, marriage might take you to Lagos. And all kinds of displacement will take place consistent with the plans of God. And then you will know the reason for which God took so much time to work on your life.
Oh, oh, arise, shine. For your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you.